Okay, guys, we're going to have a look at the, uh, the last war against uh, Czech SK Clan. Uh, ended up in a draw. Uh, let's have a look at Chris's attack on there, number 10. Uh, so it's going to be a Lava Loon attack. So we've got a Hound on each air defence. Wizzy's in the clan castle. So a little bit late on the on the poison spell. Okay, poison's in now and the wizzy's are pretty much gone. Short work at that base. And loads of stuff left over. Good stuff. Jackson's attack. I watched this uh, this red line. This was perfect uh, luring on the, the clan castle. Um, So he's just tightening that pack up a little bit more. And there go the clan castle. Just taking over the full side of that base with all the defences with the golems there. It often doesn't look like the, the jump spell quite reaches as far as it actually does, but uh, it does safely go into that uh, into that core. use of heal and rage in the centre there gets things uh, shifting fairly safely. Superb stuff. attack.
I do find that this is a, a much better use of um, Teslas than putting them in, in obvious places, um, like we mentioned in the previous videos, where they're sort of in the in the spaces wrapped around the the town hall. It's pretty obvious what is what is going to be there, but uh, I mean half of the half the sort of uh, special power, if you will, of the Tesla is that, is that it is hidden. Um, you know, if it's round, if you've got blank spaces around your town hall, it's pretty safe. But it's going to be Tesla there. But uh, by sticking them outside, that, that pretty much delayed delayed proceedings there quite a bit. Queen's merrily going about to destroying everything but the town hall at the moment, at the minute, but uh, actually locked on. Solid stuff. Okay, I'm going to have a look at uh, just a few of the the opposition's attacks. There weren't uh, that many of the note, to be fair. Um, this one on Chris. Yeah, I'm just. I, I was looking through the replays for it for once to show in the video and uh, pick this one because it's unusual to um, for giants to be used in uh, in in clan wars. If I recall, um, there was four or five golems, chunk of giants, and about seventy odd um, archers, which is a really strange combo. But uh, you know, you've got a lot of tanking, uh, tanking troops there for those archers. But at the end, the end of the day, Chris has got a fairly strong Town Hall 9 base there with uh, with decent walls. 
Um, the guy didn't even use any breakers. Um, and he's got a, a pretty solid two-star win there. Um, so, yeah, I thought it was worth a look at that one. It's uh, unusual red, but uh, it seems pretty effective. I'll look at uh, the attack on, on Walter. I just want to mention here, guys, before we get into this red, if you if, if you do see this um, sort of layout of infernos uh, around the town hall, where if you imagine like the the town hall sitting in a in a wall like that, they're basically in the infernals plonked either side like that. You can actually hit both of those with with a freeze spell. I mean, the guy doesn't do that in this raid, but if you if you imagine drawing a line in between the base of those infernals and hit right in the middle, sort of there, um, you will freeze both of those infernals. I will try and put a um, like a little a little picture up in a minute if if possible and. Uh, just just show you that in actual working. Um but just maybe something you just wanna just bear in mind if you are designing a new base. The guy was pretty lucky here. The uh, the package could have gone either way there. They could have gone to the right, but in, in actual fact, they decided to go left. There was no sort of rhyme or reason why they, they did that, but uh, it's beneficial to the red. And they don't last long, to be, to be fair, when these, um, these infernals lock onto them. So he's just opted to, to try and freeze the back inferno. Now whether or not he knows he can get both of those, I don't know. Um, but you know, if you do see that, that format of uh, infernos, then you take say um, two freezes. You can freeze both those infernos for for quite a period of time. It does uh, does make the raid quite a bit easier. Okay, I'm just gonna look. I've got one more raid. The raid on Alex. Similar sort of base. Um, just got the infernos one. One towel further apart, and they can't be frozen. So, much similar um, sort of raid as the last one, which is breaking both of these, these corners.
so the guy saved, I think, just one archer. Um, he's pretty much out of the troops, apart from that one archer there. Um, but these these packers have cleared all this this area here, so he can he can make up to the fifty percent now. Um, so it's always always a good idea to uh, to save a couple of troops at the end. I always forget. <laughs> Um, but it's if you, you can remember to to save a, a troop or two, um, it does uh, it does often save you. Oh, I think we know what's going to happen here anyway, so we'll speed this up. Pretty good red. So uh, that's going to wrap up the uh, the replays from that uh, that war, guys. Uh, like I say, it was a draw. Um, okay, so that's it. We'll catch you on the next one.